Welcome. The Legal Eagle XL Aileron Parts Fixture and Time Savings. Prepared by Iron Design LLC, Scott Weinberg. This is the last part of three. Picking up where we left off from number two, this is starter wrapping up the aileron portion of the wing. Again, so you can consult your plans for the general items, this is a simple source of how we did it. See the number two in the series to understand how the ribs eight and nine were prepared. Number 10 and number 11 are exactly the same. This is assuming that you have a good idea on the rear cross members fit and that's going to be shown here very shortly. Okay, right here is what I'm calling the false rib. That's the first rib of the aileron and a second false rib which is the last one. We did not make those parts in the fixture plots. And then we have rib 8, 9, 10, and 11. 12 and 13, we'll get through those a little bit, but they've got their own unique properties. Keep that in mind. Shown here is, and for lack of a better term, I will call them a compression rib, number A, and the bottom. These go in between the false rib and the next rib here. And of course the ply is put in first. The ply is applied against the second vertical in the aileron. Here it is showing. This is the vertical I was just mentioning. Here's the ply. The ply is glued to this rib and in between the top shown here and the bottom. Then we come back in with these two pieces and glue them in from the back side. Makes for a very strong and stable part. These are just your typical standard cross bracing quarter by quarter. Don't need to go much into that. This is looking from underneath. This of course is 3 8 tall right here. And we are showing one gusset in place there. And of course we have another gusset on the bottom. This is showing the K block. This is the outer portion or the outside wing tip portion of the wing. We'll need to put a little quarter by quarter right here and right here this location and this location. Then we will use the same gusset as you've seen in video two or three and it showed how that covered this K block. This K block is used to hold the aluminum cove which you'll be seeing coming up shortly. Ribs 12 and 13 have this hinge block made and you can see the quarter inch notch here quarter inch notch there, one at the top. Shown fairly well in the plans. You make it to fit. Make sure this hole all lines up and that is what keeps the aileron working very smooth. Shown here are the three added gussets and I'll just put my cursor right here. We got an inside one on rib 12, an outside one on rib 12, and an inside one on rib 13. I have it shown with nothing on this exterior. There's a lot of ways to go on your wing finish product and I'll leave that up to you. Not shown on here of course is the short stubby trailing edge and then the inch and a half wide 0.8 mil covering from the tail up to the front. Now we have the aluminum cove in place. It is butted up tight against the K blocks that we inserted in here and these gussets. It's firmly attached top and bottom and it just works out very nice. It's light, simple, and very strong. Always good to check the range of movement. Here we've got it all the way up check for our binding in this location and here we have it 
not all the way down but far in excess of what we're going to need so got the torque arm shown here from the far end and of course all of the ribs in a nice even manner and here it is shown in blue so you can see the leading edge is an always transparent and we got all our cross braces but this is so much easier to make when everything is held straight and true in the wing portion and what we've done is right here right here each one of these and there's just four of them where we cut it free of the main ribs and then we sanded that down then of course it is held with a hinge block on this end and right here you can see the hinge block on the outer portion of the wing one more time in blue pretty much done again the band is not in place here and on the far end but that's very straightforward the nose skin can be done in either ahead of time or now I guess if it was me presently I'll do this last thank you from iron design here's the email address it's been my pleasure working through these details so that you won't have to quite as much this is in hopes of you being able to spend more time building and flying all thoughts and comments are welcome thank you